Well, Singapore will be announcing recommendations later this year for a ministerial, from a ministerial task force that's been looking into new community living models for persons with disabilities. Among the issues it's hoping to tackle, who will provide care for them when their caregivers are gone? If he can take care of himself, it's already, I, comp I consider my job done. <laughs> Despite his own health issues and old age, this father, who only wants to be known as Mr. Tan, is the sole caregiver to his 47-year-old son with intellectual disabilities. His hope is for his son to live independently in his own flat after he passes on. I want him to be independent for his own good and for the good of me. Mm. You know I mean? mm. That one is very important, in mm. fact, to every parent. Mm. Every parent is, that's why it's my opinion, they're concerned with the child or children. That's why it's important for me. He must be independent. His son Tzu Wen has a host of health conditions, including diabetes. He is also wheelchair bound. I don't know how to do things. I'm scared. If I live alone, I don't know how taking care of myself. Mr. Tan wants to plan for his son's future, but he didn't know where to find help. That was until his son had to visit a hospital for treatment earlier this year, and his case was referred to Mines. The social service agency told CNA that some caregivers didn't seek help as they didn't know they could, and those who know may be reluctant to do so. Many caregivers don't have the confidence that enough uh, resources or people who understand the needs of their care recipients. So in that sense, um, uh, a lot of times, I think uh, internally, uh, caregivers hope for a miracle or may for someone to step up, step up to be their successor, to really take over the care of the persons with intellectual disability that they had kept for for many years. The Social and Family Development Ministry says more can be done to support all persons with disabilities. It has set up a task force studying new community living models for them. It looks at how they can live independently and how the community can help care for those with limited or no family support. The recommendations will be announced later this year. So the first thing that we are concerned about is really uh, making sense of for the uh, persons with disability there are different level of needs. Therefore, what are the kind of services that they need uh, in order to live effectively uh, and well in the community? And it's actually different for different disability type. Current efforts by MSF to cater to the needs of persons with disabilities include day activity centres, enabling hubs and assisted living facilities.